Jimmy K here, Metal Voice. Look at this. The Metal Voice shirts are now on sale. Just go to the video description to find out on how you can purchase one. Metal! Hey, it's KK, the Metal Voice Man in the Street, and I am in the Monster Museum with one of my favorite people in the world, the Emperor of Rock and Roll, Richie Scully. Uh, hey, well, welcome. Welcome here. Hey, hey Frank. Frank. What are you doing, Frank? Hey, Frank. I'm in the middle of an interview here with the, with the Metal Voice, with KK. All right? So be quiet. Okay, go ahead. Man. Hey, Richie. It's been a long time. How I haven't seen you in about a year, since February, since the chance. Yeah, you know, it's been a long, crazy year, hasn't it? Well, uh, sorry about your friend uh, Leslie West. Yeah, He's you know. Quite a few losses lately. Leslie, uh, Leslie West was one hell of a guitar player and uh, certainly an influence on me uh, as a guitarist, as, as well as thousands of other guitar players. You know, he just had that gorgeous vibrato and just played with two fingers and made every note count. And uh, it's certainly a big loss. One of America's great, great guitar players. So. And you played with him for what, eight, ten years? Yeah, I was in right. Mountain for eight years. I also right. played in a solo band, and we toured Europe a lot, the Leslie West uh, band, and so a lot of a lot of great memories there. And uh, of course, we lost Tim Bogart recently Tim Bogart. from the Vanilla Fudge and Cactus. And I saw him play with Jeff Beck, uh, Beck Bogart. You saw that? Nice. Yeah, at the Felt Forum underneath Madison Square Garden, and uh, got to know Tim pretty good through the years because. Uh, Mountain and Vanilla Fudge would do a lot of shows together, you know. And Carmine Apiece, uh, you know, I've uh, known since I was a kid, really. And, uh, you know, just one of the great legends of rock and roll. So, Timmy Bogart's gone, and Savane Savane right recently after passed. Timmy's, yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, New York Dolls had to be the coolest band. We'd come out of New York City, and, uh, you know, um, they're all gone now, except for Johansson, but... Uh, Definitely growing up in New York, the New York Dolls were, uh, you know, Johnny Thunders. I mean, that, you know, that that's uh, about as rocked out as you could get. Yeah. Good and bad. <laughs> uh, I say that. Queens but, boy. Queens yep. boy. Yep. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, life goes by fast, man. So uh, enjoy it while it's here. That's for sure. Speaking of enjoying it, I... Have a new uh, single out with I the do. Catman. How yeah. did you get Peter Chris to join you? Well, I've known Peter for many, many years, and um, I had played on a record of his uh, quite a few years ago. I played bass on it, and uh, it hasn't been released, uh, but it's uh, pending at some point. And uh, long story short, I, I was in Hollywood uh, uh, back in, uh, I guess, 2019, and... Um, his wife, Gigi, uh, who handles all, all his affairs, invited me to go see him at a KISS convention. And we got to talking, and he was telling me about, you know, his record might be seeing the light of day one of these days, the record I played on. And then I told him I was doing a new record, and uh, I asked him if he'd be interested in playing on a track, and he said he'd be honored to play on a track. So um, It's a great track, by the way. Yeah, real, well, I, real slice I originally had another song for him to play on, and... Um, <clears throat> and uh, time was going by, going by, and then finally, uh, one day I came into the museum here and picked up the guitar, and all of a sudden, you know, this song came out of me, and I, I it just, the words just came out, you know, the cat man and the yeah, emperor yeah. have just left the building, you know, one's off to Brooklyn, the other's just chilling, uh, this thing just kind of came together, and uh, I made a demo of it at Louis Spagnola's studio, uh, and sent Peter the demo, and then uh, went down to his mansion, and just Peter and I recorded it together in a room. Uh, and then uh, Tarek Solanchi, who engineered that, uh, we brought it back up to Luis. And I had John Regan, who, of course, played with everybody under the sun, including the Rolling Stones, on their Dirty Works record. Uh, Peter Frampton of Stones. And Frampton and John Waite and, and Dave Edmonds. and uh, Ace Freely. Ace Freely for you? many years, of course. <laughs> so uh, I was very honored to have John come and do the bass. He locked right in with, with Peter's drumming. And uh, Sal Soka did the backup vocals for the record. And it's called The Catman and the Emperor. And uh, 
It's been doing really well. I'm really happy with it, KK. And uh, can't wait for it to come out. I yeah, uh, it's uh, I ordered it. It's it's coming in February, right? Yeah, you can download it now. Uh, but the oh, vinyl my itself is coming coffee. out. Uh, hopefully, the end of February. Um, uh, it's coming out on purple and green vinyl, and um, it's really doing well all over the world. And uh, so it was a great honor. Now, was to have that Peter Chris? You know, one of the last things or the first things he's played on in a while. Wasn't yeah, it? you know, I don't even know if he ever played drums on somebody else's record before. And uh, I know it's been quite a few years since he actually played on a record, a Kiss record or whatever. I went to see his uh, last show at the Cutting Room. In, uh, in, the, in New York City uh, a few years back, and he retired, but um, fortunately I was able to pull him out of retirement. Good. So, um, and with great results. I'm very excited about the, the Catman and the Emperor, and the flip side's called God, the Devil, and Me, and that features Mike El Torre from the Love and Spoonful on drums, and uh, Sal Soki did the vocals and backgrounds on that. Uh, Chris Matarano did an incredible piano and strings on that track. That's a great song. And yeah, I'm, a, I'm that's, a, that's, a better, that's the B-side. And Tarek Solange also engineered, mixed, and produced that track. So, uh, And Louis Spagnola did the bass on God, the Devil, and Me. So uh, I'm in good hands with this new record and a lot of good people on it. And uh, I'm excited about it. So there you As go. As you should be. It's a great song. It's a slice of New York. Yeah, it's very New York. It's like a New York City 70-ish kind of rock and roll song. You know. well, I see you bouncing around every once in a while. You you did a Court of the Crimson King. And you yeah, had a couple right. of guests on it. You had my neighbor Mark Rivera on it. Yeah. How did that come about? You know, I've never met the man, Mark Rivera, but Great I know he's been with Billy Joel forever. And uh, I always heard of how cool of a guy he is. And uh, he ended up on the record because of Mike Clavana did the Mellotron on that song. Oh, okay. And uh, Clavana is Billy Joel's piano tech. Yes. He also works for the Rolling Stones, but he's a great keyboardist in his own right. So uh, Mark Rivera happened to be over there, and it was something I put together, that Crimson Court of the Crimson King thing, uh, after about four months of, um, of being, um, you know, because of COVID. Locked up. And being uh, quarantined. Yes, there you go. Uh, I just reached out to Rasage Wilson, and uh, he put the drums down in his studio. Lenny Lee put the bass down on it in his studio, sent the files to Mike Clavana. Mark Rivera, uh, there's a little sax in the intro. I do the uh, 21st century schizoid man as the intro, and then it goes into the into chord. That, yeah. But mainly Mark's contribution to that song is all the background uh, vocals. In the vocals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was a nice surprise to, uh, they sent the file over to Spagnola's Dirty Brook Studios, and uh, I went in and did the electric guitars and vocals, and uh, uh, Louis Spag played acoustic, and Jeff Waldo, one of my oldest pals in the world, uh, my pal of pals, did incredible flute on it. So that track, uh, everybody did it in a different studio, and it came together, and Louis mixed it. And uh, I'm glad you brought that up, because, you know... I, I Listen, I, that. that came out one morning, I was having a terrible day at work, <laughs> and I saw it pop up, I think Lisa put it up, and Yeah, Lisa boom. Marie Anthony filmed uh, Jeff Waldo and I, and uh, she had a lot to do with the whole video, putting it together, and... Uh, and all the photographs are by Lisa Marie Anthony. So she's a big part of that record also. And, it came uh, out really good. Yeah, thank you. And if you see Mark Rivera, tell him... I'll, I'll uh, thank him for you. Thank him, yeah. <laughs> now, um, one other thing I saw this week. Uh, John Regan has said there might be a live Return of the Comet album coming out. Do you know anything about you it? You know, I it's don't know a hell of a lot about it, KK, but I do know that we recorded a... A live show in Sellersville, Pennsylvania, at the Sellersville Theater, uh, you know, a year ago or so, and uh, I, I don't, I'm a little bit in the dark about it, but I there's word that it's coming out, or and um, you know, I I actually haven't heard it yet, but uh, if John Regan thinks it's good enough to put out, that's good it's enough gotta for be me, because you know, Regan's the man, and Todd Holworth, uh, you know, what a great singer, and. Uh, just to, you know, had Budgie, uh, Steve Budgie Warner on drums. Uh, you know, we were just kind of hitting our stride when the COVID thing happened. Uh, we had some cruises lined up for that show. And uh, so this record, uh, hopefully, uh, I'll know more about it in the near future. But uh, yeah, it's really just how that was a, a strong... fun tour to do uh, with uh, Return of the Comet. And uh, the last show we did was in Miami. Uh, 
back in October of uh, last year. And uh, we just had a great time, you know. It's a great combination of people and, um, uh, you know, it's just fun. And that's what it's all about, man. You, got, you know, if you're in a project or a band, or you have to have fun, uh, whatever you do in life. Whether you're a race car driver or, or an artist or, you know... Uh, you have to enjoy it. Whatever it is, you got to enjoy it and have fun. And uh, well, you guys look like you're having fun. We yeah. watched at the Bijou the opening night. Oh, uh, okay. We hit, we hit the chance. We yeah. caught a couple of those. Yeah, we did Fox. The Pearl chance was definitely and... wow, but it's you could see the difference of three, four weeks maybe. Yeah, the time yeah. You, the you know, chance. in any band, gelled, when you really. tour, you start to become, you know, like a finely oiled machine. Mm -hmm. If you're playing four nights in a row for or five nights in a row for a number of weeks, you start to just you know things. It's just, you know, yeah. most of the time. Was it good Other times field? it could be a train wreck, you know, it could be, uh, but, you know, in most bands' cases, when you, you play out uh, from city to city, you know, and you're, you're, you're in there together in the trenches on the road, it all kind of comes out on stage, you know, and it gets tighter, and, and uh, so that's what happened with that act, and... Uh, you yeah. guys even played with Ace down in Florida. Yes, we did. Ace, Kiss Cruise. Ace came Coming. up and uh, played a few songs. Mm -hmm. uh, he did the encore songs with us. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. So, no hard feelings with Ace? Everything's... Yeah, you know. Uh, He's your brother. Yeah, Ace and I have been, you know, I did three lines of duty with Ace Freely. And, uh, you know, it was always, uh, you know, just a lot of great times, you know. All right, Rich, I think we have a show coming up. Yes, we do. I do have a so show. About, about January 30th at the Bowery Electric. Yeah. It's and a that's live what, stream. That's a live stream show. It's going to be Saturday night, January 30th at 8 o'clock. And uh, it will be with a, a New York City band called Ten Ton Mojo. A very good band. Yes. Very cool band. Yeah. Uh, my buddy Chris Laubis, uh I know uh, Chris and I have done musical things throughout years together. I think I've caught them open for you before. I played great. on a bunch of uh, Chris's records in the past, and uh, yeah, they uh, we did a show together. Uh, Brian's, yeah, up in Milltown, yeah, New York. Yeah. And you could get the tickets for that at. Um, uh, well, you can read it. Ten Ton Mojo, Richie Scarlet, 2021 Rolling Live Studios. And that's where you can purchase tickets for the live event. It'll be Saturday night, January 30th at yeah. the Bowery, Bowery Electric. Electric in Lower East Side, Manhattan. Great place. Yeah, so uh, that's the 30th, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and uh, just, you know, even though there's not going to be anybody there, just to actually be standing on a on stage, stage, you know, after a year. We'll be there in spirit. I go crazy if I'm not on a stage, in, like, after three weeks. It's been over a year. It's been a, it's been and a year. And, of course, that goes for everybody that's in the arts, uh, not just music but you know whatever you do but uh you know um these live stream things uh, a lot of these places are going under so by supporting these live stream shows and buying tickets not only for my show but all these different venues that are doing it you're helping to keep uh you know our stages venues, alive yeah. you know so um that's it uh thanks so much and uh it's great talking to you, Richie. I great love to the talk museum. To the, the, the metal zone guys. The up metal there. voice. Where is that? That's up in That's Canada. Montreal. Montreal. Maybe. Richie, so always if great I to see you. French, I'd say something in French, but I don't. But uh, thank you for the interview. Thank you for. Uh, thank you for having us. Yeah, and you know, uh, go out and uh, pre-order that. Uh, that Get single. in there, James. Yeah. Let's do the reverse of that old. Okay. So. All right. Go. Okay, James, I want to also tell everybody out there that they can pre-order the single Catman and the Emperor from the Prudential Music Group, which is on Facebook. You go to Prudential Music Group, and they have a store. You click it on, and they have different packages. Green vinyl, purple vinyl, purple and green vinyl. CD. So, and a CD package. So uh, certainly uh, go to there and order the record. And if you don't like the record... You know, you know what, James? If you don't like my new record, it makes a great frisbee or a coaster <laughs> for a beer. It's great, Richie. Other, you know, people but are gonna love it. Hopefully, uh, you'll like it. So, thanks again, Metal Voice and uh, James. Great job on the film and the camera work, KK, and uh, everybody. Thanks so much.